Coastal Environmental Baseline Program was established in 2017 to inform better decision making in areas of uh, existing high or increasing vessel traffic. The objectives of the program are to determine the physical, chemical and biological baselines at six sites across Canada and those are in the coastal zone. Placentia Bay is one of the few bays in Newfoundland that's considered to have ice-free shipping year-round and this is part of the reason that it was originally selected as the main pilot site for the baseline program. Placentia Bay is a really good starting point for Newfoundland especially because there's a lot of both economic and cultural significance in the area and we can see that there's going to be an economic upturn you know, in the future of using Placentia Bay. It gives us the opportunity both to learn about it scientifically but also to give us again that starting point to understand how it may be changing in the future. I'm looking for a spatial distribution of microplastics in Placentia Bay. We're looking at microplastics concentration, methane concentration, as well as zooplankton dynamics. The baseline project will give us a level understanding of in the future how are things changing over time due to different environmental impacts. For my part of the project, uh, we did a zooplankton sampling net. Basically, I use this uh, 200 micron mesh net, and then I drag it through the water and the net catches anything that's greater than 200 microns. Generally, we consider that uh, to be zooplankton. Zooplankton are really important because they play this really key connector between the very bottom levels of the food chain, like phytoplankton and bacteria, uh, and then to higher levels of the food chain, like fish. Well, ACAP Environment is a nonprofit environmental organization. Uh, we focus on marine monitoring and restoration. Today we were doing some marine vegetative surveys, looking for eelgrass, but also different types of rock weeds, ascophelms, and we also survey for uh, some aquatic invasive species, just looking for presence and absence. We recently acquired an ROV to do uh, marine vegetative surveys, so what we did, uh, we powered it up and we span it from the shoreline. We have 140 meters of cable that we can use to go all around from the shoreline and document how much eelgrass is there and the distribution of it and we can also record what we see. We can use that in the baseline project as well. So we are applying a lot of different tools, but by having a lot of different groups working together, we're able to apply a lot of different techniques all at once, and that gives us this really distinct snapshot. It's really exciting for me to be able to help develop this work and this baseline data for uh, future generations of researchers. I would like to use my engineering background and my new marine biology degree to create a mechanical system that will help clean up the ocean from microplastic and other trash and debris. It's very important where a lot of our economic growth is generated from the water. I think it's extremely important to take a stewardship approach and uh, take care of our oceans. Being a Canadian, we have the sea surrounding us from sea to sea to sea. And a lot of those seas contain very important marine resources for a lot of different people, whether it be fish stocks, marine mammals, the different type of habitat found both near shore and offshore. This program has been able to collect data to create that preliminary baseline that will be able to detect trends that occur in the future.